terrible. Claims of institutional gaslighting by Harry and Meghan were refuted by the former spokesman for the Queen. But before we continue, are you interested in starting or scaling a YouTube channel without having to show your face or becoming a traditional YouTuber to earn $30,000 a month? Click on the link below for more information. Experts on the royal family have debunked several claims made in a recent teaser for the couple's documentary series on Netflix. The former spokesperson for the Queen ripped into Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's claim of institutional gaslighting, granting, there are more holes in their story than a calendar. In the most recent trailer for the couple's Netflix docuseries, Harry first claims that lies were told to protect his older brother Prince William before he goes on to say that he and Meghan were the victims of institutional gaslighting. Dickie Arbiter, a knowledgeable member of the royal family who worked for the Queen from 1988 to 2000, launched a vehement criticism of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. He disproved the couple's assertions that their security had been pulled ahead of their impending relocation to the US in early 2020. Mr. Arbiter stated to The Sun, their story has more gaps than a calendar. Talking about institutional gaslighting is utterly outrageous. Additionally, their security was taken away because American taxpayers refused to support their living expenses. There are numerous conflicting messages. They have lost focus, in my opinion, and nobody will take them seriously. In the most recent Netflix trailer for the documentary's final three episodes, which will air tomorrow, Harry and Meghan discuss institutional gaslighting. Although it is assumed that they are addressing the monarchy, it is not yet entirely clear to whom they are referring. I wasn't being thrown to the wolves, I was being fed to the wolves, Meghan then says to the camera. While a picture of Buckingham Palace is displayed. In the video, Harry continues, they were delighted to lie to keep my brother safe, William. To keep us safe, they were never willing to share the truth. The Duke of Sussex mentions them, but it's still unclear to whom he's referring. The apparent public fallout between Harry and William is awful for Britain's worldwide reputation, according to Tom Bauer, who penned a biography of Meghan this year. He stated, Harry's disloyalty would horrify their mother Diana. That split is upsetting for everyone in the nation, not just William and King Charles. The perception of Britain as a nation of feuding brothers is horrible. Additionally, Mr. Bauer disproved assertions made in the new Netflix teaser that Harry and Meghan's choice to move to the US from the UK was motivated by a grave concern for their safety. Any accusations that the couple had their security removed before to Megxit, according to the royal expert, would be shockingly incorrect. Richard Fitzwilliams, another royal analyst, stated to Mail Online, the accusation that our security was being pulled, everyone knew where we were, suggests that they were not provided with adequate security as senior working royals prior to Megxit. Therefore, it follows that they believed the Royal and VIP Executive Committee, RAVEC, was not doing its duties effectively. We must ask why and demand evidence from them. Given that the Sussexes reportedly have 15 hours of tape, it's also plausible that Netflix sensationalized their remarks in the teaser to attract viewers. In another news, Charles unveils a beautiful homage to his mother during his visit to Parliament as the King. In order to accommodate the King's visit, the House of Commons session was momentarily suspended. A memorial to Elizabeth II was unveiled by King Charles III during his visit to the Houses of Parliament. For the duration of the monarch's visit, the House of Commons and House of Lords were both briefly suspended. The king observed the nation's mourning of the late monarch by attending a plaque unveiling ceremony to mark the spot in Westminster Hall where she was laid to rest. Prior to her official funeral in September, an estimated 250,000 people are thought to have passed Queen Elizabeth's casket which was decorated with the imperial state crown and draped in the royal standard. While the queen was being laid to rest, Charles and his siblings, the Princess Royal, Earl of Wessex, and the Duke of York, also paid a moving homage to their mother by keeping a silent vigil surrounding her casket. Thanks.